Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. So many of the world's problems require proper context. Take the pandemic, please. The impact of this global menace is undeniable in any context. Some 6.4 million lives have been lost globally, a number that continues to grow every day. Death and heartbreak have touched nearly all of us. Few of us do not know someone who passed away from COVID-19 or its complications. Those who did not lose a loved one or close friend know somebody who did. But let's look at the numbers in context. The population of planet Earth is approaching 8 billion people. That's 8 billion with a B, and 8 with nine zeros after it. A number so huge that only an Ann Arbor math professor could wrap his or her head around it. I point this out not to minimize the pandemic, that would be impossible, but to note what should already be obvious. A person who gratefully accepted the vaccines when they became available, both the regular regimen and the boosters, a person who stayed home during the worst of this horrible siege, a person who wore a face mask when it became necessary to leave the house, a person who accepted that social distancing was a lifesaver, in other words, someone who followed all the rules and recommendations of the experts greatly reduced his risk of death or serious illness. A person, say, like me, a senior citizen in his late 70s. Had I done none of those things, I quite possibly would be dead now. All my precautions could not prevent the COVID hammer from dropping on me. A few weeks ago, I felt the onset of familiar symptoms, a sore throat, achy joints, fatigue, a headache, a few sniffles, the same things I experience when a cold is coming on. And that's what I thought it was, until it wasn't. I took the test. It was positive for the coronavirus. Now that's the bad news. Here's the good stuff. My doctor prescribed a relatively new post-exposure drug, molnupiravir, by Merck. It inhibits the growth of COVID cells in the body. Pfizer makes a similar drug called Paxlovid. That's the one President Biden got. These drugs are intended for the most vulnerable in our society. Although I stay active and feel healthy, apparently I qualify as vulnerable. For once, I'm happy to join the club. My symptoms not only did not worsen, they began to improve with the first dose. I won't lie, the medicine is not easy to choke down for someone like me who often struggles with large capsules. These things look like fire logs. With much effort, I got four of them down every 12 hours for five days. Well, this is our new world. It is possible, perhaps even likely, that an annual booster shot for COVID will be as routine as our annual flu shots are now. If that's what it takes to make it to all of my grandchildren's weddings, I'm fine with that. It will be easy for those who still don't trust the COVID vaccines or the government that approved their use to argue that they didn't spare me my own COVID fight. Obviously, that is true, but the fight would have been so much worse without them. Life As We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life As We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.